Hi, my name is Sherry. Welcome to my studio and welcome to Stampin' Up's 24 hour flash sale. So today I have five different cards that I will be um, doing Facebook Lives for over on my Facebook page, Sherry's Cards. And my, I will attempt to, after I've done a Facebook Live, um, quickly film them and get them onto YouTube. The problem is, is those of you who are familiar with technology know that my little phone is all of it. Um, so I need my phone to take the pictures, to film on Facebook, to film on YouTube, and then to download and to upload and to edit onto YouTube. So at some point during the day, I'm probably going to run out of time. Maybe not. Um, maybe they'll get loaded later. So for those of you that watch me on YouTube, um, I am going to try to film them all um, so you can see the, the cards before the sale ends. But if it gets later in the day and there's only like three videos over here, um, you might hop over to Facebook to see the last. And again, it's Sherry's cards over there. Um, and I will put the, the link down. Um, but I've already done my first one over there. I do have um, additional specials to offer you besides the 15% off stamp sets that Stampin' Up! is offering. Um, so you'll want to check those out. And I will put that again down below in the comments. There won't be any blog posts. I won't have any up close pictures like I normally do. Um, eventually I will but not today for the sale. I will have a couple of up close pictures. Again, the editing and the watermarking, all that has to happen on my phone. And so I can't do it all and be filming and use the phone for all of this stuff. So it is what it is. I'm gonna try to get as much done as I can. Um, but if you, I will put some of it on there um, and then eventually I will have it all caught up so you can go back and see it. So if you wanna buy the sets and then copy my projects later, you. I will have them there for you to see. So the first two cards I'm gonna do, I can't chit chat because I gotta get stamping. The first two sets that are on sale that I'm gonna show you today. The first is Birch. Love this set. It's a great background set. Um, I have used it if you follow me my channel as water on several cards. I've used it as water with a good man, which is also one of the stamp sets that's on sale today. And then the other that I'm gonna use on this card is a Winter Woods. Love the set. Um, it's great for masculine cards, sympathy cards. It coordinates with um, Rooted in Nature, which is also on sale. Um, Lovely as a Tree, which is no longer in the catalog, but it was one of our most popular selling sets and available f forever. I never had it, but it was available f for freaking forever. So chances are, if you've been with Stampin' Up! for very long, you might have that, and this does coordinate with that. <clears throat> it's the winter version of it. Um, so let's do the stamp set so I can move on to my next project. So for this one, I'm going to use, let me aim the camera down a little bit. I also have to keep, every time I change um, channels, I have to change my camera setup, which you would think is easy, but it is not. Um, so that probably takes me 15 minutes to get everything reset back up for the right, um, if it, it would be oh so easy if I could just leave my camera and do both formats the same way, but it doesn't work like that. So for the birch, I've got it in my in my can, in my case because that's how I leave it. I'm using gray granite. I'm gonna try to not talk so fast. <laughs> I know I'm trying to go fast, but I don't need to talk fast. Just gonna ink it up in here because two reasons. If I wanted it to stamp perfect, I might put it on my stamparatus. If I thought, you know, that I might miss a part or I wanted extra dark ink, I might put it in my Stamparatus. This card, I just want, you know, some of the birch to show. Um, if I miss a part, it doesn't matter. Later, one of the stamp sets that is on sale is Buffalo Check. I love, love, love Buffalo Check. If you follow my channel, you know I use it all the time. I was so happy when there was a miniature Buffalo Check in the holiday catalog. That one, I will use the Stamparatus because I do want to make sure it's nice and bold and perfect. This one, don't doesn't matter. I just want a light version of the birch. So there it is. It's gray granite ink on a gray granite card back. And then a, another thing that you'll see a lot today if you watch all of my videos is the shimmery white cardstock because it's the most beautiful. It's the most beautiful of all of our cardstocks. It's shimmery. Um, 
and it's perfect for these more subtle cards. And then I'm gonna use, our trees don't look like this yet in Indiana. They will soon. Right now we have glorious fall weather. I'm gonna use early espresso because this is a really wispy stamp and I wanna make sure that all of the beauty of all of the intricate little branches that they have that you can see. So just ink that up. One of the things I would like to do is to learn how to go live on YouTube. But you know everything, I can stamp and I've been stamping forever. Everything else is a learning curve. And I'm not quite sure how you do YouTube live. Eventually I will figure it out, but that point hasn't happened yet. And we only found out about the sale just a couple of days ago and only found out what was on sale, like on Monday, I think. And yesterday I had plans. So I had to come up with all of the cards that I was gonna do as quickly as possible. So there was absolutely no time to try to learn how to do a YouTube Live. Isn't that pretty? It's just gorgeous. So you could, if you wanted a sympathy card, if you wanted a masculine birthday card, just a really simple card, you could be done. Like you could just add a greeting, add some, maybe some twine, and you could be finished with that. I'm gonna use it as a Christmas card. And I'm gonna use some stuff from the holiday catalog to make it more Christmassy. So the first thing I'm gonna do, is get some scrap paper. I'm going to use our fine tip glue. And anywhere that there might be um, frost that would hit the tree, because there is nothing more beautiful. It's kind of barren and, you know, not beautiful. when The trees just look like this on a gray day. But on a sunny day, when we've got frost or ice on our trees, it's beautiful. So that's the look I'm going for for this. Now this um, can smear a little bit. I don't know that it's really smearing. It's just kind of amplifying the ink, I think. So try not to drag it too much and try to work quickly. So just add this anywhere you think there might be um, frost on your trees. back on that in a second and then I'm going to use out of the holiday catalog the ice glitter it's nice and chunky it's not like dazzling diamonds so there aren't a lot of colors it's just white which I like that especially on this card because I'm trying to keep it more subtle but it's lovely lovely chunky and over on Facebook I will take some close-up pictures and put that there for you to see As the day progresses, some of this will disappear. It's only other projects. The filming of this and the editing of this is gonna look a little bit different than my normal videos because of the setup that I have to do so I can get everything done today. I apologize for that. Give me a thumbs down if you feel it's necessary. I know some people just it makes their day happy if they can give somebody a thumbs down on YouTube. Personally, I would just no longer watch the person's channel, but some people just, I don't know, it's its their thing. So now, now I have the um, cherry cobbler ribbon. It's, um, it's cherry on one side and more vanilla on the other. So you get opposite stripes. I want the vanilla to show, because again, I'm going for a more subtle look. So you just need about this much. Snap this. I just a knot. You don't want a bow. Because again, we're going for simplicity on this card. It's more of a minimalist card. So just one simple knot. Maybe I should have done it right side up. can't see my knot because my hands are in the way. I'm trying to let you guys see it, which you know how to tie a knot. Just pull it tight. And then you don't want too, too long of ends on your card because again, we're going for simple. And then 
You can see I left it a little bit long because I wanted to make sure that I had enough space. And then I'm just going to tear this edge right here. And look how pretty this is. So I'm going to take dimensionals. And then I'm not going to finish this one off the way I finished it on Facebook. I'm going to show you the other one just so I have pictures, um, so I can take pictures of it both ways. Because I know you all like when I do two different styles of the same card. And this way I will have the pictures of it two different ways. And I'll, it's easy to show you what I did. Can you get all of them? Yep. So just mount this down in the corner. These are really pretty, really, um, it's a subtle but really pretty card. So this was, I had, this was where I had originally stopped with the card and then I wanted to make it a, just a little bit more Christmassy. So I took the um, Holiday Basic Rhinestones. They're actually called Holiday Rhinestone Basic Jewels. It's a mouthful. Um, and so then I just added those. Let me move some of this crap out of the way. So I took this and I just made one tree be a Christmas tree. Because you know, people do this in our neighborhoods. We just add some baubles to one tree in our yard and make that be a Christmas tree. So the secret to that is to pick the tree that the least amount of glitter stuck to and just kind of wedge them in there. And at least one of the colors, I went with the three um, Christmassy colors. I chose the um, the Crushed Curry, the, I think it's Cajun Craze, and then the Spruce. Um, but one of them you need to have three of, the other ones you can have two, but one of them needs to have an odd number because you don't want six. Um, you want to have an odd number of those. And just kind of wedge them down in between and if you um, need to see how I did it, you can hop over to the Facebook Live and just fast forward to that bit to see where I added those. But it just adds a little bit of a different look. So this is a little bit more minimalistic. This is a little bit more, it's not super bling, but it's a little bit more bling. So that's the first card for the flash sale. Um, you have until midnight tonight mountain time to place your order. And I have a host code that's good for today only to qualify for my extra specials, which I have a lot. So. Happy Flash Day. Have a great one. Bye.